السلام عليكم in this tutorial I will show you how to create a helical spring and change its, its pitch using configurations we will start by creating a sketch which defines the outer diameter of our spring we we'll snap to the origin and dimension it to be 150 millimeters we will exit sketch features curves helix and spiral let's choose the constant pitch option and let our pitch be as it is 50 millimeters start at 0 degrees click OK now we will create the cross section of our spring we will create a plane that is normal to this curve it is normal to curve set origin on curve we will click OK now we will have to create a sketch on our newly defined plane which defines the cross section of our spring and let's then make it 20 millimeters okay. exit sketch we will hide this plane now we can create the spring body we we'll go to features, sweep we will choose this circle as our profile and the helix as our path we we'll click ok and here is our spring created okay. we have defined the pitch of the helix curve to be 50 millimeters now we will use configurations to change this uh, the value of this pitch so you can use it in animation or uh, using the animator in a future step okay you just click over helix and spiral all the dimensions will be shown you can move them a little bit so they can be visible enough sorry okay here's the 50 millimeters that represents our pitch value we will right click this value and click configure dimension okay. a new window will open which displays the value of the current uh, pitch which is 50 millimeters and allows you to create any other values and put new names to them or add new names to them so we'll make a new uh, configuration called expanded And we will set this to 70 millimeters. Another configuration called compressed. And we will set this one uh, to 30 millimeters. Let's call it compressed one. Name configuration. Compressed one. Okay. And compressed to with a 20 millimeters value click OK we will now go to the configuration manager tab up here double click on the default ok now we can try double clicking all the other new configurations which we just created to see what will happen double click expand it you find that the spring actually expands compressed one and compressed two and you'll find that the pitch value changes accordingly these values can be added either in drawings or in assemblies and it is a very useful tool السلام عليكم